What is going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing a Q&A slash mukbang. So I have been obsessed with Indian food. It is delicious. So I decided to do Indian food mukbang. Before we get started with this video guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I ordered. We have some rice. I also have some shrimp masala. I have never tried shrimp masala, but it sounded really good, so I decided to order it. I also have some butter chicken, butter naan, and also this dessert. I don't remember what this one is called, but I also got some mango lassi. This one is like my favorite one. It's so delicious. And I also got some veggie samosas. But before we start eating, guys, I do want to say a huge shout out to Best Beans for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have never heard of Best Beans, you are missing out. Best Beans is a puzzle adventure game where you solve thousands of fun puzzles and you collect like these really cute characters that are called fiends. Honestly, it is such a fun game. I can spend hours playing that game. I usually play it whenever I'm like laying down in bed before I go to sleep or if I have had a really long day and I just want to de-stress or if I'm waiting in line for my food, you will always catch me playing Best Fiends. I even got Jason into the game and now he plays with me. We get pretty competitive to see who can like, you know, solve the most puzzles and who can collect the most fiends. So if you guys want want to play Best Fiends, I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you guys can download it for free and so you can get $5 worth of gold and energy for free if you be level 5. So once again guys, it is Best Fiends, like best friends, but without the art. Best Fiends. So now, let's eat. First, I'm going to start with the Mango Lassi. Mm. Ever since I tried Mango Lassi, I get it every single time because it is so good. So I have a lot of food here in front of me guys, but this is going to be a Q&A slash mukbang. I told you to ask me questions on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me at MakeUpMyPita. You guys sent in so many questions, so I try to like narrow it down to the ones that you guys were asking the most. So we're going to be eating and answering some questions. But first, I want to take a bite of the veggie samosas. The veggie ones is my favorite one. I've tried the, I think last time the one that I tried was chicken, but this one is still my favorite one. It's so good. I'm gonna dip it a little bit in the sauce of the butter chicken. It's a little bit spicy. I forgot to mention to you guys. She asked me what level of spiciness I wanted. I said four for this one, and I said five for this one. Whenever I told her that I wanted five on the shrimp masala, she was a little shook. She was like, are you sure you want five? And I was like, yeah. So now I'm scared to try it because I'm like, what if it's too spicy, you know? So I wanna see how spicy it is. Let's just try the sauce. Ooh, look how good that looks. Wow, the flavor. It's a little spicy, nothing I can't handle though. It has so much flavor. I wanna see if I can find some shrimp in here. Oh, I see it, it's so tiny. It's right here. Y'all, that is fire. That is so freaking good. Oh, yes. If y'all have never tried Indian food, try it out because it is so good. Butter chicken is definitely one of my favorite ones. I absolutely love it. It is so good and it has so much flavor. Everything has so much flavor, to be honest. I don't know how to describe it, but literally the name, like, butter chicken, kind of just, like, melts in your mouth. The sauce is so creamy. It's so good. Mmm. Okay, at first, it wasn't that spicy, but now it's starting to get a little spicy, so I'm gonna start answering some questions. One of the questions that I got is, what is my dream place to go? I have a lot of places that I wanna visit and a lot of places where I wanna travel, but it definitely has to be Italy. I think it's because I love wine and I know there's a lot of wineries in Italy and like I've just been like seeing on TikTok like people that take trips to Italy and it looks beautiful, so that is definitely one of my dream places that I want to visit. I'm just going to dip the naan in the sauce because the sauce is really good. It has like onion and I think it also has like green bell pepper. Whatever it is, it gives us so much flavor. Next question, what made you start YouTube? Honestly, when I started YouTube, I don't think YouTube was as big as it is right now. YouTube was like more of like a smaller platform. So I started when I was a freshman, 
but it really didn't take it serious. And then it wasn't until I met Jason senior year when we started uploading vlogs and stuff. And then we started taking it a little bit more serious because he would kind of push me to like upload more and post more and like all that stuff. But when I started, I had my favorite YouTubers that I would like look up to. I would watch their videos every single day. And I would always be like, I want to be one of them. Like, it looks like so much fun and like doing all the DIYs and like lookbooks and the makeup and all that. And it's so crazy how they inspired me. And now we're here. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, that's just an example, guys, to never give up in your dreams. Like, if you believe in something, you can make it happen. You just have to keep pushing and telling yourself that you can and you can and you will. Oh, this is a good one. Who is more jealous, you or Jason, AK cameraman? This is funny because I don't really consider myself a jealous person. Jason says that I am, but I don't really think I am that jealous. Like, obviously, if there's a girl flirting with Jason in front of me, like, okay, girl, back away from my man. Like, what are you doing? Obviously, I'll get jealous, but I don't get jealous about, like, the smallest things, you know? Jason is really not much of a jealous person, but... I will defend what's mine. Like, okay, hold my earrings, hold my earrings. Back away, girl, back away. What was the first gift Jason gave you? What was our first gift? We had given each other a lot of gifts already, but I'm trying to think what was the first, first gift that he gave me. Okay, I remember. The first gift he ever gave me was Christmas Day, and that's when he asked me to be his girlfriend, and he gave me a Victoria's Secret gift card, and also these beautiful pink roses. It was a dozen of roses that were pink, and I still have those roses. Can you believe it? Like, that is so crazy. My mom actually tied them with a little plastic bag. She hanged them upside down, and she hanged them in the wall of my room. So that's how I was able to preserve them, and now I have them in a shadow box. But it's so crazy. Like, it blows my mind the fact that I still have those roses, and they're like eight years old like isn't that insane next question is are you excited for merch I am I am really excited for merch my merch should be getting here anytime so you guys will see me probably in the next video rocking the merch or in the video after that so I can give you guys kind of like a sneak peek and throughout the videos I'll be wearing like a little bit more of the pieces so you guys can see what else I'm dropping next question who does Kaden and Liam love the most you or Jason this is a hard one because Liam is more attached to me but Kaden is more attached to Jason. Kaden obviously does love me and he's like attached to me. But if he ever needs anything or you know, if I tell him like, no Kaden, don't do that. He'll automatically go to Jason and be like, da, 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 da. And Liam, whenever he's like in trouble or he needs help with something or whatever the case is, he comes to me. So Liam is a mommy's boy and Kaden is a daddy's boy. Next question is, do I plan on collaborating with other YouTubers in the future? I do guys. I do want to do collabs in the future, but I need to go to LA to do that. So I'm planning to take a trip to LA soon so I can do some collabs because I live in Texas and most of the YouTubers that I know live in LA, so I have to take a trip down there. I've also been wanting to take a vacation, so I've been planning on like just taking like two in one. Kind of like go relax for a vacay and also to collab. But I do want to do some collabs for this upcoming year. I feel like that'll be really exciting. When is episode two of Bestie Let's Talk coming? Episode two drops this Thursday, guys. There's always a new episode every Thursday. And this episode will be talking about how me and Jason slash cameraman met and also about my teen pregnancy. So I think by the time you guys watch this video, it should already be up or it's about to go up. So either way, I'll leave the Bestie Let's Talk podcast channel link down below so you guys can subscribe and go check it out. You guys can also listen through it through podcast, not through podcast, what the heck, through Spotify and Apple Podcasts and I think Google Play as well. So you guys can tune in multiple ways to listen to it or to just watch it. Do you remember your first meet and greet? I do. How could I ever forget my first meet and greet? My first meet and greet, I did it outdoors and I think it was 15 people showed up, I believe. And I'm never gonna forget their faces. Like, oh my God, I got there, I was so nervous. I remember I was telling Jason, I was like, no one's gonna show up. Like, why am I even doing the meet and greet? Like, no one's gonna come. I even have pictures of my first meet and greet. I tried to take a picture with everyone. So there's a total of 15 people, but yeah, I'm never Never, never, ever, ever, ever going to forget my first meet and greet.
Next question, why did you want to start a podcast? The reason I wanted to start a podcast, I wanted a place where I can give you guys advice, where I can kind of just take you guys behind the scenes and like show you what I'm not doing when I'm not filming or like certain stuff that I'm going through or like share some story times. Here's another question that I get asked all the time. Where are your kids whenever you film? So like I told you guys, Liam is already big. So Liam already goes to school. And Caden, Caden stays with his grandma. So his grandma takes care of him. That's why whenever I film, the house is like so quiet because you guys don't ever hear them. But usually like during the weekends, the house gets pretty loud because the boys are here. I'm going to try to get a little bit more of this sauce. Mm. When are the life hack videos coming back? Oh my god, I have missed life hack videos guys so much Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to bring back life hacks because I have so much fun filming those videos I love filming videos that are like challenges If you guys have any challenges that you guys want us to try out or any video ideas not me dropping my butter chicken. Leave it down below in the comment section, guys. I will go over it. I feel like I'm talking too much and I'm not eating a lot. I also eat very slow and I cannot multitask. So if I'm like talking, I cannot eat. And if I'm eating, I can't talk. I have a little bit left of my vegetable samosa. Like I told you guys, I've tried the chicken one before. I think I even tried a beef one before. I keep going back to the vegetable samosas because those are like my favorite ones. I love that it has potato. It's like so soft and it melts in your mouth. Honestly, I feel like I've tried a decent variety of Indian food, but like for example, the shrimp masala I have never tried. So if you guys can think of anything that you think I might like, let me know in the comments down below so I can order it because I don't think you guys know, but usually I like to order Indian food like once a month. I'll do it like in the weekend as my little treat because ever since I tried it for the first time, I was like, yo, I have been missing out because it is so good. And I still can't get over the fact that the chicken is so soft. Like I say this every single time, but I don't think I have ever tried chicken this soft. If you want to try something, try butter chicken. Like you have to. This one is like a must. Why didn't any of you guys tell me that I almost forgot to try my dessert? Okay, let me give you a close up. If some of you guys know, maybe you can help me out in the comment section letting me know what is the name of this dessert. I don't remember. I think it was something like Malasi. I don't remember. So I'm going to give it a try. It's almost like, it tastes a little bit like coconut, but it also kind of reminds me of like cheese. I can definitely taste the milk though. And it's just like melts in your mouth. I like this one. I would definitely order this one again. My final thoughts on the shrimp masala is that it's really good. I like it. The only thing is I wish the shrimps were a little bit bigger. I don't know if that kind of depends on the location or if that's how the recipe is because I know there's another location that I usually go to and last time I ordered something that also had shrimp and the shrimp was like huge and it was so juicy and I was like, ooh, this is some of the best shrimp that I've tried. So I'm going to give it another try and order this again in a different location and see how I like it there and how much bigger the shrimps get or if it's kind of like the same thing and add some of the rice mm. Mm. last bite of my butter chicken I feel like I did some damage with the butter chicken I finished it almost all I feel like this one is still like my number one favorite. It's so good. I feel like I'm getting really full already, but I wanna try more of the samosa. So I'm gonna take one last bite of the butter chicken. Mm. This time I only ordered butter naan. Usually I get garlic naan, but I was like, what the heck? I'm just gonna get like just regular butter naan. So I've tried the plain one, the butter and the garlic one. But after trying the butter one, I feel like garlic naan is my favorite one. I feel like I can go and just order naan by itself and just eat it right then and there because usually the food gets a little bit cold like with the drive and like while I set up and everything. But last time I ate the naan, like as soon as they gave it to me, like I took it out and I ate it and I finished almost every Thing before I got home because it was just so soft so buttery and it kind of just like melted in my mouth and I was like oh my god I was like next time I need to order a little bit more because then I eat it like on the way to the house but for sure next time I'm gonna get garlic naan I kind of wanted to take another bite of the samosa but I don't know if I can guys because I'm so full 
I'm over here saying that I'm full, yet I'm taking another bite of the rice. Mm. I feel like my jeans are about to explode. You guys have to also keep in mind that I'm a tiny person. I look pretty tall on camera, but I'm not, so there's only so much that I can eat. But overall, I would rate my meal a 10 out of 10. Everything was delicious. I'm gonna save this mango lassi and I'm gonna put the rest in the fridge because it's starting to get a little bit warm. And whenever you take it right out of the fridge and it's nice and cold, it just hits different. Like it's so good. And then also, again, and if any of you guys are watching know, is there any other flavors besides mango lassi? Last time I ordered at a different location. And on the menu, it says strawberry lossy. And I got so excited. I was like, oh my god, they have strawberry lossy. Like, if the mango is good, I can only imagine the strawberry one. I got there, I ordered it, and she said, unfortunately, we don't have a strawberry lossy anymore. So I didn't ask her if, like, they were, like, sold out or, like, they weren't selling it at all. So let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys know, is there other flavors besides mango lassi okay let me know because i would literally go to google right now and start looking up like mango lassi or strawberry lassi near me because that's how obsessed i am with this drink all right guys that is the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that i post a new video i love you guys so much thank you for all the love and all the support and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 hey, coming in yeah flex I just wanna win, yeah LABB who we running with, yeah 